Have you ever wondered what happens when Buddhist rituals and exotic fish collide in the wild? What if Tibetan otters enter the scene? Picture this, a group of devout Buddhists gathered around a glittering pond, their hands clasping bags of exotic fish destined for freedom. This is a practice known as life release, a Buddhist tradition where believers purchase, bless and release animals into the wild to earn spiritual merits. From carp to catfish, these released creatures add a dash of color and diversity to the ecosystems they are introduced to. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Enter the Tibetan otters, these furry, frolicking creatures with an insatiable appetite for aquatic life. Imagine their delight at finding a pond teeming with exotic fish, a veritable buffet laid out for their dining pleasure. And so, a ritual meant to save lives inadvertently becomes a feast for these otters. So how do these otters turn the tables on this Buddhist ritual? Let's dive deeper into their world. It all begins with a simple act of kindness, the release of exotic fish into the wild. This act, known as life release, is a Buddhist ritual where believers purchase animals, usually fish, from markets with the sole purpose of setting them free. The journey these aquatic creatures take from cramped market tanks to the vast open waters is truly a sight to behold. But let's change focus for a moment. Enter the Tibetan otters, playful, adventurous, and you've guessed it, voracious eaters. They call the winding rivers and icy lakes of the Tibetan plateau their home and their diet, mostly fish. These otters equipped with sharp teeth and agile bodies are natural hunters, always on the lookout for their next meal. Now, imagine these otters discovering a buffet of exotic fish right at their doorstep, a feast they didn't expect. Just as the last fish splashes into the water, something unexpected happens. An array of curious onlookers, the Tibetan otters are drawn in by the commotion. They watch from the riverbanks, their eyes filled with anticipation. And then, they take their chance, diving in with a playful abandon that belies their predatory intent. Like synchronized swimmers, they swoop and dart through the water, their sleek bodies perfectly adapted for this impromptu feast. The exotic fish, still disoriented by their abrupt transition from captivity to freedom, are easy pickings. One by one, they are consumed, their intended salvation turning into an unexpected banquet. This unforeseen outcome, this clash between intention and reality, is a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of our world. In their earnest desire to save these fish, the Buddhist practitioners inadvertently set up a banquet, a feast for the otters. In trying to save lives, the Buddhist practitioners inadvertently set up a feast for the otters. The tale of the exotic fish, and the Tibetan otters, is certainly an intriguing one. We've journeyed through the heartwarming intentions of a Buddhist ritual, only to stumble upon an unexpected twist. The noble act of releasing exotic fish into the wild, intended to save lives, ironically became a feast for the adventurous Tibetan otters. It's a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable course and the ironies that life can serve us. This story teaches us a profound lesson about the ripple effects of our actions. Even when rooted in compassion and goodwill, our actions can have unforeseen consequences, making it crucial to consider the broader implications of our deeds. It's not just about what we do, but how it impacts the world around us, from the smallest fish to the most adventurous otter. So, the next time you witness a life release, remember the tale of the exotic fish and the Tibetan otters. After all, every action has its potential ripple effects even in the wild.